The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on most laptops does not produce very good audio. Usually it's not the cleanest and it doesn't provide enough power for high end headphones that might be more difficult to drive. So a lot of people have jumped to USB DAC amp combos, little compact devices that give your audio a boost in clarity and signal strength. So today we're going to take a look at three of the most popular ones under $100 and see which one's the best. Over the course of a few weeks, I did a lot of research reading user forums, user reviews on Amazon and such, and also reading professional reviews, obviously, and I was able to settle on these three units. So we have the Cambridge DAC Magic XS, which is a nice unit, the Dragonfly Black, probably one of the more popular ones, and the Fio K1, the most compact and affordable offering we have here. So let's get these unboxed and go over their features and see what each unit comes with. These are all obviously very simple devices designed to be powered off of USB ports for your laptop or desktop. Some can be used with the phone, but for our purposes today, we're just gonna be looking at laptop use. So what you get in the package, very simple. For the Cambridge the DAC Magic, you get a tiny micro USB to USB cable, just to plug it in, about a three incher. So nice, decently flexible. You get the same cable with the Fio there, but with the DAC Magic, you also get a carrying case. So you get a nice, soft pouch that you can kind of roll, put it in and it has a drawstring there. So if you need to pour, take it around, you know, you can throw it in there. That's a nice little touch. The Dragonfly has a USB head. So let me pop the cap off. It's on there pretty tight. So it doesn't really need a cable. Now I wouldn't recommend necessarily plugging this directly in and leaving it there because it could easily just get jostled or bumped and rip the laptop USB port out or, or mess up the DAC. But it's an option, uh, so you don't have to have a cable if you don't want, but it does come with a nice little leatherette pouch that you can slide it in for portability. So it's a nice little touch. The Cambridge probably has the best in terms of package and accessories. I guess the pouch would make that the best, but I think they're all fine. Uh, the Fio is so small, I don't really think it matters. It does have a clip though, so I'm not really sure what that's for since you're gonna be using this primarily on a laptop, but you could clip it on to your jeans or I don't know, your shirt or something if you really wanted to. Physically, each of these DAC amps stand out from each other. The DAC Magic from Cambridge has two volume buttons on the front, so volume up and volume down there, and a nice one-piece aluminum body. The Dragonfly Black has a nice LED Dragonfly on the top there that changes with the bit rate of your music file, so that's nice. Uh, also has the gold club or plug connector there, which is a nice touch. The Fio has a, also an aluminum body, uh, silver coloring. Uh, it's the smallest of the three by far, but similar in terms of casing uh, and feel. I would say which one's built the best, either the DAC Magic or the Dragonfly. The Dragonfly feels really dense in your hand. It feels like a nice solid piece uh, of audio equipment. So they're all built well. Uh, the Fio's the lightest. DAC Magic's in the middle and the Dragonfly is definitely the heaviest and the, the most dense. Out of the box, you do not need drivers for any of these. They can all just be plugged in and you're good to go. Just change the audio device selected in your Windows sound menu. The Cambridge DAC Magic though, does have an additional driver that lets it play up to files up to 192 kilohertz at 24 bit. Out of the box, these will all play 96 files at 96 kilohertz at 24 bit. So that's gonna be the max there for these two, but with an additional driver, you can go higher with the DAC Magic. I tested each of these DACs out with my Master Dynamic MW50 Plus headphones, a very high quality set of headphones that sound excellent, and each made them sound even better. What I found after testing these extensively was interesting. So I will say off the top, if you're looking for the best qual audio quality period for $100 or less, the AudioQuest Dragonfly Black is the winner. It's the most expensive, it sounds the most expensive, it's the best. It has the best bass low end. It has by far the best clarity and detail. Uh, I was almost blown away a little bit by how good this sounded paired with the MW50 Plus headphones. It was fantastic and I'm definitely keeping this uh, for my laptop setup. Now, out of the two less expensive models, so you have the $40 Fio and the $74.99 Cambridge Audio DAC Magic. This was an interesting test. So the Fio is very clean. Uh, and it offers good clarity, shocking for the price. I was very impressed with this. I found that the DAC Magic was 
a little less clear overall in terms of its audio signature. Uh, it sounded a little muffled maybe, like it was pushing mids more than it should be, and that the audio signature overall was better on the FIO actually. Now there are obviously some features that the Cambridge Stack Magic has that the FIO K1 does not, like the volume triggers up top and support for higher end codecs, but overall sound signature is what, what matters. And the K1 was flat out better than the XS in my opinion. Also, I found that the XS got hot, like noticeably warm. It does sound good, but of the three, I just thought that the audio performance was the weakest. So the Dragonfly, number one, go out and get it. If you're looking for a headphone amp and you're saying, hey, what can I use? What makes sense under $100? I can't imagine anything beating the audio quality of this. And also for budget users, the Fio K1, if you're in the market, go for it as well. This sounds really fantastic. Now my MW50 Pluses are not really difficult headphones to drive. They're 32 ohm headphones, so they're a relatively light load. These three were able to push them comfortably, obviously. Uh, the FIO and the Cambridge are similar in terms of power output from what, from my testing. Obviously you can jack up the volume here manually on this. Uh, the Dragonfly is another story. With the Dragonfly, I feel like you could push headphones that require a significant load. It's clearly the strongest of the three by far, uh, it was pumping out volume levels that were almost absurd. I had to drop the audio on my laptop down to two just to get it to bearable levels. Uh, that's how loud this thing actually was playing. After completing testing, I have to say that my results surprised me. I was expecting them to fall in order of pricing with the Dragonfly, then the XS and the FIO ranking in that order, but that's not the case. That's why you do testing. So you find things that actually work and what works best for you. Now you might have different results with the Cambridge uh, on your headphones, but that was the experience I had for me. It just wasn't the best DAC that I've used and it wasn't the best of these three options. So as I mentioned earlier, if you want more information on any of the three DAC headphone amps, I'll drop a link to the article that goes to the website for more info there. If you wanna pick one up for yourself today, I'll drop links in the description below for them directly as well. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm Jay, this is Tech Everything. I'll see you next time.